Mijano is located in the northern part of Capo di Leuca and has a population of 3,500 inhabitants. The village that borders with the municipalities of Ruffano, Montesano Salentino, Tricase and Specchia extends in a flat area protected by the west by the heights of the Serre Salentina. Mijano boasts an energetic industrial attitude, particularly linked to the production of fixtures and elements of furniture, thus consolidating itself as a district of wood and furniture. Ancient is the presence of man in this territory, as attested by precious archaeological finds. More significant are the studies carried out in the locality of Pozzelle, where some finds testify to the presence of medieval farmhouse that was abandoned during the modern era. According to the historical documentary tradition, the feudal epic of Mijano had already begun during the Norman period, but it is between the 17th and the 18th century that the farmhouse begins to live a flourishing period from a social and financial point of view with a succession of the three feudal families from Salento, the Lubellis, the Gallones princes of Tricase, and the Bernaleones last feudal lords. The Apuigian mills in the municipal area, which date back to between the 17th and 18th centuries, are real evidence of a lively and intense industrial activity linked to the production and sale of oil a peculiarity that has animated Mijano for several centuries. Even today, the economic tradition develops in agricultural production, focusing in particular on the cultivation of the olive tree, a tree that extends across vast meadows in Mijano's countryside. In recent years, Mijano has consolidated its production of extra virgin olive oil, which is carefully processed here by renowned organic firms that have made quality and biodiversity a hallmark. Authentic in its entirety is the rural landscape, preserved and surrounded by the stones of the dry stone walls, evidence of the typical and ancient architecture of the agricultural pastoral civilization of southern Salento. Walking through the Mijano countryside you can make pleasant meetings, like the Pagliare, rural buildings made with dry stones. The Pagliare had different uses, for example as a storage places or in the warmer months they were also used as a dwelling by farmers. In Mijano, the commercial tradition is combined with innovation in the modern fair district, located between the town hall building on the provincial road that leads to Taurisano. In the month of October, in fact, Mijano is home to the prestigious Expo 2000, the regional fair of industry, crafts and agriculture of the South Salento, established for the promotion and enhancement of products of the Salento culture. The beauty of Mijano is combined with the tradition of Salento hospitality, which here in the Capo di Leuca still preserves the typical characteristics of the ancient hospitality of the Levant.
Walking through the characteristic streets of the ancient village of Migiano, you can easily rediscover the grace of simplicity and authenticity of Salento, immersing yourself in the warm colors of the bare Carparo and the ancient plaster. The heart of the town welcomes different typology of the typical architecture of Terra d'Otranto, like the solemn forms of the noble palaces, which majestically rise up the narrow alleys. They show signs of their family opulence through the monumental heraldic coats of arms and small private oratories. In the heart of Migiano there is the smooth bossage, which frames the ashen portals carved according to the 17th century decorative taste. Public housing is shown to the visitor in the typical court houses, which are common in most of the towns in Salento. The courts provided families with greater security and different types of services in common, such as the water collection tank, the washing pile and the small warehouse for storing tools and food. In the heart of the population area you can meet the small oratory of San Toronzo, the result of the sober religious devotion of the people from Igiano. At the top still stands the Bell Gable, in memory of the Holy Bishop of Lecce, invoked in the past against infectious diseases. In Piazza Municipio there is the column of Saint Vincent the Martyr, patron saint of the city, erected by the inhabitants of Migiano in 1772. The scenario of the square is dominated by the presence of the municipal building. Recently restored, it preserved atop the mechanical clock and the small civic bell tower. Inside the building, visitors can receive an adequate welcome addressing the tourist info point of the municipality of Migiano, booking a guided tour in the delightful old town. Palazzo Bernaleone is majestic, for centuries a representative seat of feudal power. The building structure dates back to the 16th century, although the entire structure has been audaciously modified over the centuries, until it completely lost its old military appearance. Continuing towards Santa Barbara Street, you will come across the charming municipal park, bordering the elegant Villa Episcopo. On an area of one hectare, entirely dominated by tall, old oak trees, lies the precious green land of the community, a meeting place for families and young people of the village. There are several activities that the park offers visitors, from recreational pastimes to sport fitness trails. Pleasant to immerse yourself in the pristine nature of the municipal park of Migiano, in contact with all the characteristic elements of the flora of the Mediterranean, in full freedom and a few steps from the old town. The Church of Migiano is dedicated to the Holy Martyr Vincenzo, patron saint of the city. The original structure, dating back to the 16th century as an historical tradition, underwent important structural and stylistic changes over the centuries. Today the facade appears sober and austere. It is marked by the three entrances and the three niches that preserve the stone status of the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and the effigy of Saint Vincent, 
which overlooks the monumental main door. The building, recently restored, opens inside a wide nave framed by the chapels and the relative side altars, the result of the religion devotion of the community. Precious is the canvas attributed to the painter from Nardò, Antonio Donato d'Orlando, dated 1616. At the center of the scene, there is the patron saint, Vincenzo, who receives the crown and palm from the sky. At the bottom, on the sides, some hagiographic events are reported, such as the representation of the martyrdom on the grid. At the bottom of the painting, the processional statue of the saint is preserved, protected in the niche that bears the civic coat of arms of the University of Mijano, which can still be found in the banner of the municipality, an apple tree. The rochelle decoration and the precious colored stuccos are shown in the altar of the Virgin of Carmina. At the center of the canvas there is the Virgin with the Child, intent on offering the scapular to the purging souls at their feet. At the top, enclosed in the sinus frame, a painting by Saint Oronzo becomes evident, according to the tradition of the first bishop of Lecce. A few steps from the mother church, characteristic is the cave of the embrance that houses the headquarters of Mumig, a museum that collects artifacts and liturgical clothes that tell the story from the mother church of Mijano. Near the monumental cemetery of Mijano is the delightful crypt of Santa Marina, an important monument of Salento related to the culture and the Italian-Greek religious tradition. Placed under the anonymous church, built during the modern era, the crypt develops in three apogeal environments. On the walls are still visible some important frescoes dating back to the long chronological axis, estimated from the 11th to the 14th century. Later, on the other hand, there is the fresco of the saintly proprietor Marina, depicted in her typical iconographic pose, with palm and hammer intent on subjugating a dragon. Among the population of southern Salento, Santa Marina is invoked against Jandis, traditionally defined as Male Darku. The Byzantine pictorial forms remain evident in the fresco of the Dormitio Virginis, the oldest painting in the crypt. In the scene is depicted the Dormition of Mary, lying in the large group of apostles who will celebrate the funeral. In the upper part we can see the figure of Christ who holds the virgin soul in his arms, in iconographic jargon called Eidolon. Other frescoes embellish the crypt, such as the effigy of Saint Nicholas, Bishop of Mira, often present in the decorative programs created for the Italy Grief cult. The reservoir probably had an original sepulchral function, as was hypothesized in the recent study activities. The crypt of Santa Marina from Igiano is located within the precious historical heritage of Byzantine origin, a culture that in Salento has developed for centuries in Italian Greek identity.